Hello and welcome to another community tutorial for Cocos 2DX and in this tutorial we're going to show you how to open up a URL. So what might this be useful for? You might want to open up a URL for example if you have a Facebook button you click it and it takes you to the game or your company or your Facebook page. And there's obviously several other examples as well, maybe Twitter, maybe it's a, it's a support page, etc, etc. So I've just got this new project generated, I'm just going to open it up. And I'm just going to show you the code that you need to implement for iOS and Android that it is slightly different. Um, so first of all, you just want to open up your project here. Then you want to, because you need to actually modify the Cocos 2D library. So you want to go to Cocos 2D. Then you want to go to 2D platform iOS. Then you want to go to your CC application .h. And then at the bottom here, you want to add a method declaration, and you're going to say void open URL, and this will take a const char asterisk p. We're going to call we're just going to call this psz URL. Then you want to go to your CC application .mm, and we're basically going to implement that function. So you do void application and it will open URL. Then inside here we do ns string asterisk msg, so message for example, you can name this whatever you want. ns string, I'll put ms, it should be ns string string with C string and in here we are simply going to pass in PSZ and for the encoding we're going to put NS ASCII string encoding put a semicolon at the end then we'll put NS URL asterisk NS URL equals NS URL Wait a second, ns url, url with string, so now we just actually supply the string, and for that we're just going to put msg, then we do ui application, shared application, open url, and now we just specify the url that we created, so ns url, semicolon that's it for the cocos part in terms of ios and now let's just do the android steps as well so you just close down the ios folder go to your android folder open up cc application h and what you want to do is void open url const char asterisk psz url and you want to go to your application.cpp and we just implement it here so we do void application colon colon open let's have a look it didn't pop up Open yep, URL, you do const char asterisk psz URL, and then in here we just do jni method info, then we do m info, we're going to call it m info, do if. And in the if then we'll just do, do, do jni helper colon colon get static method info open bracket and in here we specify m info comma now we specify the actual activity where we'll have the java code so we do org forward slash cocos2dx for slash lib 
forward slash cocast to the X activity and now we specify the method so open URL comma and then we finally just specify the language type and we're just gonna do open close bracket we're gonna do L Java for slash language for slash string semicolon and at the end you put a V now inside the if statement you do J string string arg one put this equal to m info dot env new string utf psz url do m info dot env do core static void method m info dot class id do m info dot method id then do string arg1 and then we do m info dot env we do delete local ref and in here we specify the string arg1 then we do m info dot env delete local ref again and in here we specify m info dot class id and that is it for the cc application dot cpp the next file you want to edit is it's within here but you can't actually see it there if we just open up the finder window we go to project.android sorry we want to go to cocos 2d cocos 2d scroll down go to platform then you want to go to android then you want to go to Java, SRC, org, cocos 2 dx lib. Then you want to go to your cocos 2 dx activity.java file. Just open this up in a text editor. I'm just going to use Sublime Text 2. And first of all, you want to import a few files. So we're going to do import android.content. Intent semicolon, then do import android.net.uri semicolon. Next of all, we need to add a activity. Then we do private static activity. I'm going to make it, it call it me equal to null semicolon. Then let's go to your onCreate method and in here just put me equals this and simply anywhere after here we're just going to implement our open URL function. So we do public static void open URL and in here we put string URL and then we do intent i equal to new intent intent dot action underscore view i dot set data and in here we pass in uri dot pass and in there we pass in url and finally we do me dot start activity i semicolon now we can save this and close this down and the last thing to do is simply implement the code itself within your application to open up a url that is really simple uh, 
Like okay, I said, we can close all these Cocos 2D folders down. So I'm going to go to a scene. It's going to go to hello world scene.cpp. And by default, when it initializes the scene, it's going to open Google. So you do application, get instance, open URL. Now you specify the URL. And for this, we're just going to put HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com press semicolon now if you run this application There we go, it opened up a web browser and it's launching Google. That's it, that's how you open up a URL within your application. I'm not going to test and show the Android one because it doesn't work very well in the emulator. I mean, Cocos 2DX does that and the emulator is terrible anyway, but it, it should work. And if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can also comment on this video or directly message us via YouTube. Also, all the required source code will also be in the description via links, aka the source code produced from this tutorial. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.